This is where our money is. People lost their homes in the banking and mortgage crisis, and it went here. 740 Park became the epicenter of the people who ruled the world, truly the masters of the universe. They all live in 740 Park. You've got David Koch, the richest person in the building, and Steve Schwartzman, the poster child of capitalistic greed. There are some in society that have a lot of access, a lot of social mobility, a lot of resources, as opposed to other people who are more disadvantaged, more underprivileged, don't have the same levels of resources. They think if you work harder, if you seize opportunities, then you should be able to get ahead. We're not that kind of society anymore. Money talks in American politics today. Those at the top have done well. They've invested in policies that are favorable to them, and they've done even better, and then they've turned a lot of that money back into politics. There is so much financing of political campaigns. There are so many bought politicians. Millions of dollars for Republican politicians. More than $50 million, for example, to lobby in Washington since 2006. Money is being used to buy results. That is the problem. That's how I use money. Jack Abramoff has pled guilty to federal corruption charges. They influence American politics on a completely different dimension than anybody else. We want the maximum freedom to launch businesses, create opportunity, and expand prosperity. They feel they need not $10 billion, but $20 billion of wealth. America became a place where money buys everything. The idea of the American dream is that everyone's got an equal opportunity. You just got to decide to play. It doesn't seem to accept the possibility that if you're poor enough and your schooling is bad enough, you don't really have an opportunity to compete. I find it hard to be an optimist right now for people who want to support their families through work and can't.